Chumpelot into the CP shed. And Chumpelot pushing in on Thermidor 2. Thermidor 2. Right, definitely the brightest robot on the night. Uh, we, we have given it a quick paint job, yes. What does the damage? Uh, damage is done by the flipper, which is at the front, which okay. is uh, full pressure CO2. Wait, this is upside down. This moment, is upside down, it? yeah. Are you confident? We're confident of something. <laughs> What is that? We're going to lose. No, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I mean, we're going to win. Of course, we're going to win. This lobster shaped robot with a powerful pneumatic flipper, it can lift 2,300 kilos, the weight of an average rhinoceros, has a team of David and Ian, who are best men at each other's wedding, showing that teams that play together stay together. So here we go, riotous robotic wrecking, we hope. And immediately Trumpelot into the CPZ. Thermidor pushing in there as well, but the CPZ is owned by our house robots. And by fire, spike, flip or pit or house robot, we will get you. And Trumpelot pushing in on Thermidor too. And Thermidor 2 vulnerable to attack. If that outer skin is punctured, they're in real trouble. I'm done. Can't move. And you can hear the big siren of Pulsar like a banshee from Robot Wars. Hell! Coming in there to hit Ironside 3. Slammed away. But I wonder what damage that caused Pulsar because to me, they're not truly maneuverable. Thermidor 2, though the flipper is working. The flipper's working, but there's no one else at home, and they are smoking now. But you can see their pulsars in a bit of trouble on the arena centre. Oh, a big blow there from Ironside 3. Sending Chompelot towards the house robot. That is a hugely powerful weapon. Untested in battle, but look at the damage sustained on that arena floor. This is a terrific battle to open up this heat. Who has the better control now between Ironside 3 and Chompelot to stay out of trouble? Pulsar, just manoeuvrable enough to get away. But will they shove? Oh, again, shards of metal flying across the arena floor. Will they push Pulsar now towards the pit? They teamed up, there goes the pit release. So now it's a question whether Pulsar can hang on in there. Oh, goodness me! Chompelot nearly reversed into doom and out. You're not supposed to do that, boys. Simon and Debs cooked together. Nearly went down. Can they push Pulsar into the pit? Ironside 3, the strongest of the robots, along with Chompelot, if it goes to a judge's decision. And I think that uh, Pulsar might just survive and does, and it goes to the judges. Uncontrolled damage and aggression. Well, we saw plenty of that. I think that's where maybe Pulsar got the hit. We knew that Thermidor 2 was in damage from the uh, earlier adventure into the CPZ. <coughs> Chomplot survived only just. All four team captains are here with me now. Step forward, everyone thinks they're still in. Not so fast, Thermidor. <laughs> You're going nowhere, OK? And for the others, well, it's going to go down to a judge's decision. They've given us a unanimous decision. The first team through to the head-to-heads is, of course, Ironside 3. Congratulations. <laughs> and Chompelot. Yes. We look forward to seeing you fight in another series of Robot Wars, yeah, my friend. We'll back. You've got something there. So Ironside 3 and Chompelot are true to the head-to-head. -to -head. <laughs>